All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory that's due to you. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Creator, who this world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I'd like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men. That's going out there on the highways and byways. That's pushing the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and all true sincerity. Shalom. And also Shalom to the one third of Israel, the men, women, and children that's listening. That's part of that great multitude. Shalom. All right. And um, so the title of this lesson is going to be called Yes, We Are the Prophets of Doom. All right. I know the Akim, you know, all week they've been going into the um into this video because Donald Trump, um, you know, you know, he 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 when he spoke. Earlier this week, he, he said um, we have to reject the prophets of doom. All right. You know, he's talking about, you know, he's, he's specifically talking about the men at Great Millstone because we, we, we're the ones that go out and speak and, and preach of the downfall of Babylon. All right. And um, everything that we say is, is recorded in the scriptures. All right. We can back up everything that we say with the scriptures. All right. So um, I'm going to pull a few scriptures and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, so this is Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. It reads, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All right, woe, woe, that means destruction. If you don't believe me, go look it up. All right, woe means destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All right, and these Christians, all right, they, you know, they, um, you know, they, they, they believe that, that the day of the Lord, you know, is going to be a, um, you know, it's going to be a nice sunny day outside. All right. The Lord is going to gather up everybody who call on the name of Jesus Christ. All right. That's not what the scriptures say. All right. It says, um, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see the day of the Lord, man, is going to be a dark day. All right. It's going to literally be dark, man. All right, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be one of the worst times on 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 the earth, man. All right, and and if you're not right with with um if you're not right who the who, who slacky if you're not right with who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, all right, the Lord is going to destroy you. All right, and you got to know the true names of 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 the heavenly Father and 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 the Messiah. All right, because only the elect is going to praise His holy name. All right, and um, His name is Yahweh. All right, who the world even calls God and Yahweh Shai, that's who the world even calls Jesus Christ. All right, you have to know those names. All right. And most importantly, you know, you have to you have to follow, you have to follow the ways of the Lord. All right. You, you can't be out here just um doing whatever you want. All right, you you, you have to follow the law, touch commandments of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right, you gotta you gotta um make your calling and election sure. All right. This is um, Joel chapter 2. In verse 1, I'll read, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. All right, speaking to you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which you are the children of Israel. All right? And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. All right? We sounding that alarm. All right? That's why we make these videos. That's why we go out to the highways and byways because, you know, it's just like if you're in the army. All right? You got certain men that's, 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 um... That's lookout, all right? They looking out to see if danger coming, all right? And, and and we got those binoculars on, all right? And and we see the signs, all right? We see the signs of the Messiah um, returning, all right? In Matthew 24 and um, verse 6, he said, you, you shall see earthquakes in diverse places, all right? We see earthquakes happening damn near every day, all right? To, um, Puerto Rico got hit with over a thousand earthquakes. All right, you just had a um an earthquake in Turkey. All right, you been having earthquakes in California. All right, you had earthquakes in the Caribbean. All right, it's only going to get worse from here. All right, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. You see, if the day if the day of the Lord was was some all peaches and rainbows, then why I said let the land tremble. All right, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Verse two, a day of darkness and gloominess. All right, with, the, with um, Donald Trump calling us the prophets of doom. All right, that's that's because this, the scriptures that that's what the scriptures tell us. All right, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. See, the day of the Lord, man, is going to be a horrific day. All right, worse than any movie horror movie that that, that you watch. All right, 
as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. All right. And this is, this is what's coming to America. All right. Death, destruction. All right. You, you go, you're going to be seeing more pestilence that's, that's, that's going to break out. All right. Um, I was just reading last night that, um, uh, you got the coronavirus that's out. We all know about that. And also, um, the bird flu. All right. So the Lord, the Lord, man, is, is on his way. All right. And if you can't see the signs that the Lord put you in gross, in gross darkness. All right. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21. For then shall be a great tribulation such, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. All right. So the day of the Lord, it just says is such as was not since the beginning of the world. All right. So this the day of the Lord, man, when, when, when the Lord comes, all right, it's going to be worse than this slavery. All right. It's going to be worse than world war one, world war two. All right. It's going to be worse than any horror movie that you've seen. Texas chainsaw massacre. All right. Halloween. All right. None of these, uh, none of these movies that you've seen is going to be able to, it's going to be able to, to reach the level of of when all hell breaking loose and when the Lord returns. All right, uh, Revelations one and seven says it shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Let me just get that real quick, real quick. All right, it's Revelation chapter one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. See, all all people gonna be gonna be wailing, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be screaming. All right, they're gonna um, people hearts gonna be failing them. People gonna be in heart attacks. All right, people gonna be going crazy, man, when they see the Messiah come. All right, a so-called black man who, 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 with the prophets, with the prophets of doom, the prophets of doom been, been warning you people about. All right, let's read that again. Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to the time, no, nor ever shall be, man. All right, and, and, and um, when we was getting, we was enslaved on that transatlantic slave trade, and we was uh, under, um, captivity under these Edomites, all right, they, they, they was throwing us off the, off the ships, all right, uh, feeding us to, um, feeding us to alligators and crocodiles, all right, they, they was raping the men, raping the women, all right, I even heard, um, they was, um, stitching up, I mean, they, they had shoved the cats inside the woman's vagina, all right, then sew it up, and then see which cat can, um, can come out the, um, vagina first, man, that's, 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 that's horrific, man. All right, but the day of the Lord, man, is going to surpass any time that was on the face of this earth. All right, it, during, during the 1920s and the recession. All right, when we fled out of um, um, Egypt. All right, it's, the, the, this time that we coming into, man, it, it's, it's not going to be able to compare. All right, so that's why we warn our, our people, man, because the Lord says, if you love me, feed my sheep. All right, and we feeding the sheep. All right, these other um, these other um, so-called pastors. All right, these um, um, false prophets that you got. Did they they not warning you of the sheep? All right, did they tell? Did they let you know the day of the Lord? You know it's going to be. You know everybody can be saved. All right, he's got a call on the name of Jesus. All right, Jesus love everybody. That's a damn lie. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven. It reads, "At last, for that day is great." So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, the Jacob's trouble. All right, Jacob, which stands for you, so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All right, we we are um, we 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 are Jacob, who the, who the Bible talks about. All right, so it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, which is known today as martial law. All right. Right now, as we speak, they're getting ready to um, implement martial law. They're getting ready to implement that RFID chip. They're getting ready for uh, the quarantine, uh, the quarantine certain cities, so you can't go out the city. All right. All this is coming to America, man. All right. But it says, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's that? He's going to be saved out of. It. That's the um, that's the elect. 
All right, the 144,000 prophets and the one third men, women, and children. All right, that's that's worthy of salvation. All right, so only only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get saved. All right, because two thirds of the two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right, they they were they refused to to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai. They they refused to um to to put off the ways of this world. All right, because. They they they, they want to continue smoking. All right, they want to continue uh, getting high off drugs. They want to continue sleeping with another man's wife. All right, but little do they know, man, what's coming down the pipeline. All right, because the Lord, the Lord said he, he's going to come as a thief in the night, and he's going to come as a thief in the night to the ones who's who's um to the ones that's who's not being who's not watching out for the signs. All right, because. The um the elect, all right, we, we we hasten in that day. All right, every day that we wake up, we like, damn, another day in Babylon. All right, so the the elect, man, we 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 watching out for the signs. We watching out for the coming of the Lord. All right, but these two thirds, all right, they too busy um running up, running in running to the club every weekend. They too busy getting drunk, too busy getting high, too busy um worrying about the things of this world. I ain't worried about soccer and basketball, football. All right, but then you, the Lord says you're supposed to be hastening the day, hastening that day that the Lord returns. All right, um, All right, so this is Daniel chapter 1, I mean, Salakia, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. In that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. All right, so it's going to be so bad out here. All right, the Michael, the archangel, you know, he's going to have to stand up for the um for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, that's how bad time's going to get out here. And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble. See, a time of trouble. And you see, and, and, that, and that's what we... That's what we preach about because this this is this is what the Lord tells us to warn our sheep, man. We're supposed to be warning um we're supposed to be warning our people of of the destruction that's coming to America. Alright? Such as such as never was since there was a nation. See? It's gonna be a time like no other. Alright, and if you don't have this if you don't have the spirit of the Lord dwelling in you, alright, you're gonna get caught up. You're going to get caught up in those race riots. You're going to get caught up and you're going to get thrown into those FEMA camps. All right. You, you, you're going to get, you're going to get slain by the, by the, by the, um, you're going to get slayed by, by the, um, so like you're going to get slayed by, by, um, by, by Esau. All right. The so-called white man. All right. You're going to get, you're going to be, you're going to get shot down in these streets. All right, all be all because you didn't want to hearken unto the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. All because you didn't want to seek him out of, out of the book. All right, it says even to that time, and at that time, thou people shall be delivered. Every one that that shall be found written in the book. All right, who's gonna be written in the book? The elect. All right, the elect is going to be found worthy of salvation. The elect is going to get beamed up on them chariots. All right, who, who, what, what the world ignorantly call UFOs. All right, Esau know, Esau know about the, um, the chariots. All right, but our people, you know, they, they you know, they, 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 they saw his children. All right, like the scriptures say. All right, so um, I believe I got one more precept, then I close it out. All right, so the, the, the um, so this is Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, both prophet, I mean, Salakia, read that again, Salakia. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms and of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right. So the prophets of old, all right, um, King David, Noah, all right, all, all our all our forefathers, all right, they prophesied, they prophesied against countries, they prophesied against kingdoms, all right, because man, the, the, this this kingdom, this current kingdom that that um the, that we in, all right, Babylon, this kingdom is going to be destroyed, all right. Thus saith thus saith the Bible, all right, and it says, 
of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right. And that's don't you hear wars and rumors of wars? All right. I, I ran it in um, Iran in the U.S., Russia in the U.S. All right. And of evil. Evil means bad times. All right. And that's what we prophesied about bad times. All right. I just brought out Matthew 24, Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right. All, and there's and there's plenty more scriptures that brothers can pull up. All right. To 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 speak of. But, you know, but it says of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's and that's what's coming to America. All right. You hear about the coronavirus. Now, now they got another virus out, the bird flu. All right. And um, and of e evil. All right. It's going to be bad times. All right. It's, it's, people are going to be breaking into your house, trying to trying to steal a loaf of bread. People going to be fighting, killing each other for a can of beans. All right. It's going to get so bad out here. Well, um, where parents are going to be boiling their children. All right. You, you're going to have men out here trying to um, kill people just to boil them up in their pots, cut them up, slice them up and, 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 and eat them for dinner. All right, this 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 is what's coming to America. All right, and and if and there was accounts in in the in the um the recession in the 1920s where people was was um when there was accounts of cannibalism in the 1920s. And this time it says it's gonna be a time like no other. So in the 1920s, if they was um doing if they was eating people, what more in this time? All right, but but except it's gonna be turned up another notch. All right, this is going to be a time like never before, man. All right, so that's why we warn our people because we want the blood off our hands. All right, we 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 we, we don't want to be uh, found guilty. All right, so that's why we make these videos. That's why we go out to the highways and byways. Uh, Slocky, that's why we go out to the highways and byways. All right, but it's um, Jeremiah 28 and 9. The prophets was prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall, shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent them. All right, and these people, they 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 they're going to find out that that we were telling the truth. But when they find out, it's going to be too late. All right, they, they're going to be running to our, to our, um to our camps to our camp spots. They, they're going to be running um trying to find the men of the Lord. All right, but the Lord is going to take us off the streets. All right, He's going to take us off the YouTube. All right, and when you find out that that a prophet was among you, all right, it's gonna be too late. You're gonna be thrown into that FEMA camp. Um, you, you, you all hell gonna be breaking loose. All right, it's gonna be too late. All right, so you got to get the word now while it's hot. All right, so um, let me read that one more time. Jeremiah 28 and 9. The prophets was prophesy of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent them. All right, and these people, man, all right. They steady believe in their Christian pastors. All right, they steady believe in a in a um Catholic pope. All right, but your Christian pastors, man, they 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 they, they pimping you, man. They um they 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 preaching uh uh uh, uh they preaching a peace doctrine. All right, when the scriptures say the uh, peace 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 peace, there shall be no peace. All right, and there's there's not going to be no peace in America. All right, there's going to be peace after after Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Abishai come back to save the elect. That's when it's going to be peace. But right now it has to be war, war first, and then it's going to be peace. All right, and um, this is going to get Ecclesiastes three in a uh, verse. Three, and I'll start at one. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right, I'm going to skip down to verse eight. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So there's a time for everything. All right. And right now, it's not the time of peace. Not the time to be holding hands with your enemies. All right. Because all hell about to break loose and your your white friend, you know, he, he gonna betray you in that day. All right, he gonna shoot your ass down. All right, he he um or he might lynch your ass. All right, you so it's no time to be joining hand to hand with these with, with with the wicked of our people as well because the um the wicked of the nation of Israel. All right, there ain't no time to join hands with their ass either. All right, so um yeah, but the point in this lesson, man. All right, we are the prophets of doom. All right, and, and we are telling the truth according to the Bible. 
All right, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory. That's due to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Creator, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I'd like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The 144,000 men that's going out there on the highways and byways that's pushing the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and all true sincerity, and also Shalom to the one third of Israel, the men, women, and children as a part of that great multitude. All right, Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom.